Okay, so I chose to make this video because in class everyone had blank stares whenever the professor was talking about linear interpolation. So I shall share my knowledge. Alright, so basically using example 4-5 again, we have the top number which is 51.7 has a corresponding interest. We have a middle number which we don't know the interest to. And then we have a bottom number which we know the interest to be 0.75%. Alright, so in class he kind of just solved for x immediately and I'm going to show you how to actually set it up and then solve for x so that there's absolutely no confusion and it's easier to understand I suppose alright so first thing you do is you take the very top number and then you subtract the middle number which is the one that you won't know the interest for and then you take the top number again subtract the very bottom number. And then you set that equal to the very top number but on the interest side here. And then it would be your unknown. You subtract your unknown which is the middle number. And then you subtract the very top one minus the very bottom one again. So again all you do is you take the very top number which is the 51.7 right over here and then you subtract the middle number and then you divide that by the very top number subtract the very bottom number and you do that on both sides and then you go from there and you take or you just solve for x which I'll just do and I won't really talk about so Okay, so basically what I did was I just multiplied this bottom part right here over here and then I went down here and I've subtracted this side right here and then because it was negative x equals all this I multiplied by negative 1 and then it just solves for x and let me plug this in my calculator real quick and see what we get I'm just going to pause the video here Alright, and what we get for x down here is x is equal to 0.0072, which is equal to 0.72%, which is what we found in class. You can do, you can do this a different way, but this is obviously, I believe, to be the easiest way. I mean, I believe you can take where I have the 51.7 minus 48 over 6 and then divide the, dividing that by 51.7 over or minus 48.2. You can switch that, but you would have to switch the other side too. So it'd be, again, it would be the exact same thing except it would be the flip-flop. And I also believe you can take the bottom number and subtract the top, and the, or the bottom number, subtract the middle number, over the bottom number, subtract the top. But for simplicity's sake, this is how I do it, and I mean, I find it to be easy. So if you guys have any questions, 
Ask the professor. <laughs> Alright.